boys. Your Highness. Late again? I'm afraid so. <laughs> I was in the most wonderful meadow and... We understand, Your Highness. Would you like to go in? Yes, please. Very well, Your Highness. There you are, Your Highness. Now you'd better hurry before you're late. Thank you. When do you think a prince is gonna come? Prince? Just because she works as a maid doesn't mean that a prince isn't gonna come. Wasn't she supposed to marry that one prince from the next kingdom over? You mean Prince Adam? Yeah, whatever his name was. He hasn't come yet. Ugh. The queen never liked Snow White, and for some reason, she's making her be a maid. I don't know why, Snow's always so nice. How's Adam supposed to marry her if he doesn't even know who she is? Or that she even exists? You make a good point there. Do... Do you... Do you think it's possible that maybe... Maybe what? Well, I mean, maybe the queen doesn't really want Snow to become queen. Well, what are we supposed to do about it then? What if we... Uh, never mind, it's too crazy. What do you mean? I mean, we'll just write a letter. You know, like we were the queen. Just write a letter to the kingdom and you know have him bring prince adam over then he'll have meet snow white and then we'll they'll get married and then we could finally have a new queen <sighs> there's only one problem what's that the queen writes in cursive i don't know how to do cursive do you know how to do cursive I'm gonna take that as a no. Don't worry, we'll get one of the maids to help. Okay, perfect plan. Now we just gotta make sure the queen doesn't know. And so, yeah. Hello, Judy. I'm sorry I'm late. It's fine, Miss Snow. You know you don't have to call me that. Just because you help with the chores and things, well, that doesn't change the fact that you're still a princess. But we're friends, Judy. Friends don't call each other misses. Very well, miss. Very well, Snow. Now, I have the food here for you. Thank you. I'm sorry I was so late. It's just... I understand, Snow. It's perfectly fine. But it isn't. I'm gonna get you in trouble now. <sighs> Not at all. I would have delivered it myself, but last time I did that, I got yelled at pretty bad. I don't want to get fired. Of course not. Especially with a little one at home. I just can't afford that. I understand. Mmm, smells delicious. Well now, you better hurry or else you're gonna get in big trouble. And the biscuits are gonna get cold. <sighs> I'm already in enough trouble. Don't want the biscuits to get cold as well. <sighs> Could you do something for me? Anything. Would you please take this flower? Could you please put it in a vase with some water? I don't want it to die. Of course, Snow. I'd be happy to do it. It does smell very good. Thank you, Judy. Now you'd better run along before, the, before you're even later than you already are. Right, of course. Goodbye, and thank you, Judy. You're welcome. The 
Classic. Alfred. Miss White. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's all very well, Miss White, but you'd better hurry now. Of course. Be careful, though. Her Highness in one of those moods today. What mood is that? I keep hearing voices from inside of her room. Some of them are hers, but... But what? One of them isn't hers. I think I'm hearing things. Is she having company? No, no company. I would have known that. Well, did you check her room? Yes, I heard when I heard the voices. I came in and asked her if everything was all right, and she yelled at me for not knocking first and said there was no one else there. I'm sorry I got yelled at, Alfred. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, I had best be going. Do you need any help with any of your things today, miss? Well, I believe all I have to do after this is clean the tapestries. Ah, yes, the queen has been complaining about this one. What's the matter with it? She's complaining that it's dirty again. It is one of her favorites. Your Highness to you. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Is that my breakfast? Yes, Mother. Well, it's about time. I'm sorry I'm late, Mother, but I do have your favorite. Since when are cold biscuits and tea my favorite? They're cold? There is no steam to read off of them. Of course they're cold. Well, they're the perfect temperature for eating. They aren't right out of the oven, but I should think that would be good. It won't burn your tongue. No, it will freeze it. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Well, it's the only thing I have, so I suppose it will have to do. Is there anything else you need, Mother? Yes, there is. One, it's your highness. Oh yes, I'm so sorry, your majesty, uh, highness. Um, I'll try better. You had better. Was there anything else? Yes, but it's nothing you can do. Oh, do you need Alfred and Judy? No. Perhaps tell Alfred that for lunch I want warm biscuits. Very well. I shall tell Alfred and Judy. Now please stop bothering me. I have much important things to do than just talk with you. Yes, Your Majesty. Put the food on the table and leave. Of course. Mira, Mira, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Wrong poem, your majesty. Why must you be so picky? I'm sorry, your majesty. Fine, then. Mira, Mira, on a stand, who's the fairest in the land? Snow White, your highness. Of course, it's the same answer every day. Me 
What did you say? I must tell the truth, Your Highness, and it's Snow White. Her? She could never be as beautiful as me. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but it is true. But she's just a maid! I'm a queen! Not only is she a maid, but every day she goes into the woods and gets filthy. Underneath the dirt is a beautiful face. Underneath the face is a beautiful heart. You make no sense sometimes. She's beautiful on the inside and out. You are only beautiful on the outside, which makes her beautiful. Fine. I will plot a way to bring Snow White to death. <laughs>